hour as we take a live look at Capitol Hill. With us now from Washington, NBC News senior investigative correspondent Lisa Myers, who dug deep into Donald Trump's claims about President Obama's birth certificate. And he was on our show yesterday. We were not. He was here yesterday, and we understand, Lisa, he went on and on and on. He tripled down <laughs> on this conspiracy theory. What's going on? Well, guys, you know that Donald Trump has built his larger-than-life persona by being bold, entertaining, even outrageous. So, to some extent, he's just being the Donald. Uh, but now that he's flirting with running for president and, run, and running second among Republicans in some of the polls, we thought that his words deserved uh, a closer look. Trump says everything with absolute certainty. Take this about the 9-11 terrorists. The terrorists, almost every single one of them sent their families back a day early. You know, they all went to Saudi Arabia. In fact, there is no evidence that families of the 9-11 hijackers were ever in the United States. The 9-11 Commission found that some bin Laden family members were flown out of the U.S. days after the attacks, after being screened by the FBI. In his exclusive interview with Meredith on Today, Trump spent a lot of time questioning whether President Obama was actually born in the U.S., demanding that the president produce his actual birth certificate. He doesn't have a birth certificate, or he hasn't shown it. He has what's called a certificate of live birth, and that is totally different. And if you look at it, it's not even signed by anybody. It doesn't have a serial number. The certificate of live birth does have a serial number and a stamped signature. And Hawaiian officials say it carries the force of law. So-called birthers argue that if one of your parents is an American citizen, you could get a certificate of live birth in Hawaii, even if the child wasn't born there. But this document actually states Obama was born in Honolulu. An Hawaiian official also has said original records on file there verify the president was born there. There's also this birth announcement in the local newspaper nine days after Obama was born. Information the paper says would have come from the hospital. His grandmother in Kenya said he was born in Kenya and she was there and witnessed the birth. That's based on a recording of a 2008 interview with Obama's elderly step-grandmother in Kenya, conducted through a translator. Initially, the translator says she was present for her grandson's birth. But listen further, and the answer changes. When the interviewer says he wants to visit the hospital in Kenya where Obama was born, the family and translator repeatedly correct him, saying Obama was born in America. Now, I spoke with Donald Trump about all this again yesterday afternoon, and Joe, as you said, he stands by everything he said. He also argues that none of the evidence cited here definitively proves the president was born in Hawaii. I also should add, guys, that Mr. Trump was quite gracious. He invited me to play any of his great golf courses. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Lisa Myers, thank you so much. I'm sure he did. I thought I was the only one. No, no, no. So, so Dan, um, I, he's going up in the polls. He's up. He's number two in the latest NBC News Wall Street Journal poll. Uh, this is uh, repugnant to many of us, but it's working. Well, uh, never underestimate the Donald. Whether he runs for president or not, he's selling condominiums. And like a lot of us, he's frequently in error, but never in doubt. But he may, <laughs> but he may run, though. Mark, Mark Alpin? I don't see why he wouldn't. He's not only up in the polls, but he's, do he's able to dominate the debate no matter what he wants to talk about. And uh, he's got bigger crowd potential than most of the other Republicans. I, I think he does. I think he's going to run. Schumer.